hello so this is a tutorial of how to calculate elastic constant using a package newly built by us uh, elastic.wasp so basically this package is supplementary to wasp package so in wasp you will find that you can also calculate elastic constant using ibrian 5 or ibrian 6 basically so the difference is that here we are not using the algorithm inside the wasp package to calculate elastic constant basically you need to distort the crystal and from there either you will equate stress strain curve or stress strain relationship or strain energy relationship so we are using strain energy relationship assuming it's a second order elastic constant so to calculate it's very easy using this package basically what you need you need your relaxed structure so this is an example of aluminum you need and relaxed structure which I have written in the postcard we have already relaxed one thing has to keep in mind that before doing you need to have your postcard file in the direct coordinate system or a fractional coordinate system now coming back what in car I have set to calculate you can set anything apart from you need to understand that you can't set ICF is equal to 3 so we are doing only atomic relaxation we will distort the system we will do atomic relaxation and from there we will calculate elastic constant now for this calculation I have set a k points little bit larger very large so it's 24 24 24 now there is a dependency of elastic constant on k points so you have to relax your crystal with a certain symmetry or certain k points and you should have to take more k points in term of calculation to get uh, converged value of elastic constant I think 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 is enough to get a converge elastic constant values in term of k space i am telling now coming back what i have what we have to do for this calculation so basically there is a one small python script that is needed so for pre calculation you need to uncomment this pre command that is a this package I am calling this elastic underscore wasp package and as easy and then I am from easy I am calling a function so what this function do so simply you need this script to run for pre-processing so once you will do you will find that three folder has been created so this three folder inside each folder if you go inside each folder there is a certain set of folders that is a strain folders so basically what we are doing we are manually distorted the system at a some finite strain so we have distorted the system into from minus 3% strain to plus 3% strain you can modify it simply by changing this strain dot dat file so this is strain dot dat I have written from minus 0 0.03 to plus 0 0.03 you can choose as different as you want now even you can choose for each different folder the different strain value only thing you have to remember that for that you may have to either change your source code or you may have to run the same script twice such that one folder consists of 
minus 3% to plus 3% and another folder consists of suppose minus 5% to 5% after this what we will do we have to run this calculation so what we, I want to show you that inside each folder there is a string folder and if you go to the string folder you will have a modified postcard so if you see the postcard so basically the your postcard has been changed so for more detail what kind of distortion is there you can refer the paper uh, i'll show you in the later of this video now once you will you already have postcard you have to bring your in car k point as well as uh, port car to run this calculation after running calculation we i have already run the calculation so it will take little bit of time so what i'll do i'll remove this folder and i have already calculated this folders so basically i shift 2 i have done so I have moved the atom position and relaxed the system. Now let's see again open this Python script and you can see this uh, instead of pre-processing what we have done we this time we are running post processing you can this constants dot cubic underscore post simply you have to run this post command it will load and finally you will get the elastic constants so this is aluminum c11 is 112.01 C12 is 61.75, C44 is 31.81 and you can see inside each folder there will be also this plot.jpg you can see how good fit is so this is based on strain energy and strain relationship I'll show the package so so this is the package you can see to install this package it's simply you have to do pip install elastic dot wasp through pip you can install and it's already written couple of things you can go through the example folder all basic examples are given what is the difference from the other packages one thing is that is calculating elastic constants based on strain energy versus strain relationship and what basic we are doing we are distorting the crystal manually you can go and check this paper also so I'll show you so your strain energy you are calculating your elastic constant as a second derivative of your strain energy so basically after so many distortion you are fitting in second order polynomial and then from coefficient of the polynomial suppose the in case of cubic is delta 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 distortion is given and from there we are getting as second order fitting as second order polynomial and from second order polynomial ax plus bx square plus c the b value a ax square a value is this so from there you can easily calculate all the elastic constant as a linear combination you can see all three elastic constants are there for cubic material for other system you can also do so another advantage of 
the this package is this we are not inducing any symmetry forcefully as some of the package do because we believe that at some stages uh, you need to manually control the symmetry so even you can distort your cubic material based on orthogonal symmetry or you can calculate entire 21 elastic constant but for the moment uh, what I'll suggest you go through this package I think it will be more easier once you start calculating I hope this package will help you thank you